Right, book lovers, we're going to do an unboxing or an unpacking. A book haul video. Who doesn't love a book haul video, right? There's a little pile here. I've been waiting for them all to arrive before I filmed this. So I can open them together with you and you can see what kind of direction I think my channel's going to be going. So let's dive in, shall we? There's a definite theme to this lot and I'll explain why as I go. So come and join me. We've got the scissors. Let's fire in and see what's happening here. They're all ordered from used websites, World of Books or Abe Books. And so they weren't terribly expensive for this lot. Which is just as well really. This is quite a lot. This one's a bit of a footy to get into. Almost gave away the spine there. Oh, oh, oh. What do we have here? This won't be a surprise to some of you who've watched at least one recent review that I've done on the channel. It's none other than Stalin. So this is written by Robert Service, who wrote the Lenin book, which I've just reviewed. This one here, in fact. I wish I got out the local library. I enjoyed the writing. I enjoyed the style. And I thought, well, since he's written other biographies from characters, other biographies of characters that were around, that same time period, I would get them. So I'm very excited for this. Yes. Okay. So Stalin, you can sit there. What's next? So this is a world of books job. <laughs> Robert Service again. This one is looking at, is it the period after 1917? What does it say? Let's have a look. Yeah, in the aftermath of the October Revolution, the Western powers were anxious to prevent the spread of Bolshevism across Europe. Lenin and Trotsky were equally anxious that the communist vision they were busy introducing in Russia should do just that. But neither side knew anything about the other. Has this one got pictures as well? Yeah, it does. It does. I love it when biographies and history books have photographs in them. I think it really helps to, to bring it to life and to for retention as well, when you get to see the images of what's been talked about. So, two from Robert Service. He's having a good day. Or at least he would be if I bought these new. Because I don't suppose authors get royalties on used books, do they? I don't know. I would imagine not. Right, this one's from awesomebooks.com bought through Abe <laughs> so this one completes the set Trotsky he's the one I know the least about Stalin's the one I know the most about and I got the Lenin book after having read an article by David Joseph Volodsko and that was fascinating it was actually a surprise to me how little I, I knew about Lenin but Stalin I'm pretty well versed in and Trotsky I hardly know anything so that's going to be good and I've got all the same issues all the same 
publications so they'll, they'll look nice on the shelf side by side right, that's a big one so we'll come back to that one last paper envelope this one ah. young Stalin so I had a comment from David David John David I think it's David I can't remember his name I should have looked this up really shouldn't I is it John David I think a historian or a, a reader of history books he commented on my Lenin video and said that's an abridged version I was like what didn't know then we got chatting about some of the other books I have on my shelf, one of which is The Court of the Red Tsar by this author, Simon Seabag Montefiore. And he said, yeah, that's the second one in a two-book set on Stalin. I was like, oh, you're kidding. So, of course, I had to get the first one. A nice hardback as well. How's it going to look next to The Court of the Red Tsar? I don't think it's hardback. Let me just have a look. No, it's not hardback. Well, they'll go together. So that's the two book set. So I'll put them. I'll put them together now. So you can get to know one another. Or perhaps it's a reun reunification. Right, this one's got four or maybe five in it. Let's see what's happening with these. How long is it going to take to get through all of these, eh? Right, we'll start with a surprise one. You didn't see that coming. Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess, which I've read before, but I don't have a copy of. And it's coming up in a read-along with Mike, Mike's book reviews. I'm in his Discord channel and they have a classics read-along section. And this is going to be the book for March. So it's a very short book. It's not going to take me long to get through it. And I'm looking forward to rereading it. I first read it, I think it was in second year at uni, so that would have been 94, 94, 95. In fact, I have memories of reading it on the lawn of the quadrangle at St Andrews, which means it must have been spring into summer, so that would make it 95. Right, what else? This is a big, big chunker. Chunky monkey. Anthony Beaver. Hardback. Saw this on a friend's bookshelf when I was over visiting him quite recently and was surprised to see it, if I'm honest. He's not generally a Russian history reader. But I had a look at it, I scanned the barcode and I thought, hmm, that looks really interesting. So it's about the Civil War mainly, which in the Lenin book I've just read is briefly mentioned. It doesn't get covered in much detail, so I'm looking forward to this one. It has a nice blurb here from Simon Seabag Montefiore. This guy. And he says, the ultimate Second World War history. It brings these vast events to life from high strategy to suffering humanity from the dictators to the ordinary soldier. So, looking forward to reading that one. Aha! Putin's people, Catherine Belton. I've read this, I read it two, three years ago. Absolutely loved it. I've got it on Kindle, actually. But I wanted a physical copy and I would dearly love to read it again now that I'm a booktuber because it's it's a really, really good book on Putin and it comes with a free bookmark. Excellent. It's got a nice colour photo section which is not in the Kindle. I've not seen these. Fantastic. There he is with the Queen. Queen Elizabeth II. Oh. Yeah, looking forward to that, particularly 
as there's an election coming up in Russia this year. Wait a sec. I've made a mistake somehow. Anyone want a copy of this? How in the name? I'll need to look at my emails and see what the order situation is. Okay. This is the last one. Modern Russia. Another Robert Service book that covers a vast swathe of the history from Nicholas II to Putin. So this is going to cover a large period of time that will hopefully teach me some things that I don't already know. And one of the things I'm discovering is that reading multiple books about the same period is very helpful for helping me to retain the information and to understand it. Also, probably a wise thing to do would be to read different authors. So you can see I've got several books there from the same authors. So I will get one author's take on different people. Stalin, Trotsky, Lenin, which I've already read. And I also ordered a copy of this for the shelf because this is from the library. It needs to be returned by Friday. So I better give it back. But I wanted my own copy to sit next to the others on the shelf and so I can dip into it and use it as a reference aid and to tie bits together with the other books as I'm reading them. Now, this is not going to be the sole direction of my channel. It's just an interest, a passion. But so is fantasy, so is science fiction, so is speculative fiction, so is classic literature. So this is not by any means going to be a Soviet history channel or a Russian history channel. It's going to be a what I read channel. So I'll try and make playlists as I go, just to make it make sense on the channel. And uh, if, if you're interested in any of this stuff, you know, subscribe, join me. Look forward to having conversations with any of you. I mean, John David, if I've got your name right, and I apologise if I've not. Thanks already for your comments on, on the Lennon video. I look forward to watching more of your content and seeing what's, what's there, what you've got to say and what you recommend and stuff like that. So, yeah. That's me, book haul. I thought the Lenin book had just arrived, so that's why I opened them today, but it hasn't. But that's the only one that's missing from the collection. The rest are all there, including, for some reason, two of Catherine Belton's book. Don't know what happened there. I'll look into it. Anyway, that's me for now. Book haul done. Including a clockwork orange. That's going to be excellent. Interestingly enough, if you haven't read this, you may not know that the youth in the book have their own language. It's called NADSAT. And it makes it quite a challenge to read, unless you know Russian. So I'm quite curious for this read-along that's coming up to, to chat about that in Mike's Book Reviews Discord server. Because having a knowledge of Russian really made it less challenging and possibly more enjoyable but I'm wondering whether perhaps it was spoiled to some extent by the fact that I know Russian I'm curious to, f to chat about that so that's me thanks for watching I'll see you very soon bye <laughs>